Coldwell Bank is back in town. The Chamber's getting an award. New Entrepreneurship Center. It's Friday. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno, and a happy Friday to all. A quick note before we get started, as we record this, officials are cutting the ribbon on the new Mahoning Valley campus of CARE in Mineral Ridge. We have a crew there and we will be bringing you that story shortly, so be sure to check back for that. Also, did I mention it's Friday? Just feels good to say it, you know? Now, most people don't know this, but I'm not a doctor. However, I'm pretty sure that there is medical evidence to support my theory that just voicing the words, it's Friday, has a tremendously positive effect on your health. Your blood pressure normalizes. Your breathing becomes slower. Crow's feet begin to disappear. Not only does it have a positive impact on you, but those words, once released into the atmosphere, begin changing the world around you for the better. Birds begin chirping. The sun finds a way to peek out from behind a cloud. Heavenly voices begin singing through the ether, healing you with their glorious song of hope. It's Friday. It's Friday. Damn it! A thousand apologies. But seriously, give it a shot. Okay, top story. There is a new resource for students of Eastern Gateway Community College hoping to start their own business. A new partnership between EGCC and the Youngstown Chapter of SCORE is giving business students at the college more resources when it comes to opening their own business. The Entrepreneurship Academy will give students access to SCORE's mentorship network, forums, and events, as well as direct access to SCORE President Ron Emery. For now, the program is focused on the 35,000 students enrolled at EGCC, but officials with SCORE and the college say they envision it growing to serve students outside the region by connecting them with their local SCORE chapter. A big congratulations to the Youngstown Warren Regional Chamber, whose Economic Development Division was recognized at the Ohio Economic Development Association's Annual Excellence Awards. The division received the award for their work in organizing two supplier events for Lordstown Motors in January and February. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC and Mercy Health are partnering to help women receive free mammograms and imaging at the Joni Abdu Comprehensive Breast Care Center in Youngstown. Youngstown. For every car sold during the month, Sweeney will donate $50 to Joni's Promise, a fund of the Mercy Health Foundation. The fund ensures that all who need care receive treatment, regardless of their ability to pay. But don't worry, if you are not in the market for a new car, there is a more modest purchase you can make that will help fight breast cancer in the region. Thursday, local Panera Bread cafes began selling the Pink Ribbon Bagels to promote Breast Cancer Awareness Month. 10% of all proceeds from the bagels go to support the Joni Abdu Center. After more than 15 years, Coldwell Banker will once again have a presence in the Valley, now that Even Bay Real Estate co-owners Michael and Janice Stevens have purchased a franchise. The couple made the announcement Thursday that the four-year-old Even Bay Real Estate will now be Coldwell Banker Even Bay Real Estate. Since it opened, Even Bay has grown to include 20 agents at offices in Boardman and Howland. The Stevens say becoming a Coldwell Banker franchise will help the business achieve further growth. There's 3,000 offices worldwide. Um, it's a, a, a worldwide uh, franchise um, with over 3,000 agents, so it's a great opportunity for referring things back and forth to different parts of the country. They've had um, revamping all of their tools, uh, strong on Facebook, strong on the internet. Um, they are just a dominant force in the industry. Steven says they're planning to expand into multiple counties as well as add more agents and technology. You can hear more in the 3 Minutes with video on our website. And finally, if you're a news junkie, and you probably are if you're watching this, you'll want to check out a new documentary, Newstown, about the closing of The Vindicator. Newstown was made by Craig Weldon Duff, a Youngstown native and Northwestern University professor of journalism. The film focuses on the days after The Vindicator closed and other local media outlets' efforts to fill the void. It touches on the Tribune Chronicle, the launch of Mahoning Matters, WKBN, and the Business Journal's partnership with ProPublica. You can watch Newstown for free. A link is available in the story on our website. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. As always, you can dive deeper into any of these stories by clicking the links in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Have a happy weekend. I'm Mike Moliterno. And if you would like to dive deeper into any of these stories, 
I don't know what I'm doing. If I do go too off the rails, I give you permission to put me in a sleeper hole. Okay. Seven Seventeen Credit Union is paying it forward because we care about our business community. We are offering six months of free ACH and domestic wire services through small business payments when you open a free e-business checking account. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, we are here for your business.